from August 31st to September 1st, 1864, two great armies, one north and one south, fought hand-to-hand -hand in the streets of this little town over control of the last railroad track bringing supplies to the city of Atlanta. On September 1st, that little town would fall. And the next day, September 2nd, the mayor and city council of Atlanta would march out and surrender the great city to the Union Army, commanded by General Sherman. Twelve days later, the Times of London would report, Atlanta has fallen because of a little battle in a little town called Jonesboro. As far as battles go, they said, Jonesboro was merely a skirmish compared to Gettysburg or Antietam in Maryland or Shiloh in Tennessee. But, they said, it has been more decisive in effect than all the fighting and bloodshed of Grant's campaign, which at that moment was Petersburg. In 1936, Margaret Mitchell would say, I heard the stories on Grandpa's front porch that would become Gone with the Wind. Stories of her family and her family's friends who survived this great battle in the little town called Jonesboro. I'm Peter Bonner.